Hi everyone, welcome to my vlog. In today's vlog, I'm gonna talk about a G acupuncture and balance method acupuncture gonna work together. When they work together, how does it work? Would they make patient get even worse or even better? A good result or bad results? Is it what you wanna know? for today okay so if you want to know about it so stay with me so I have an acupuncturist uh, who asked me through uh, Facebook uh, from Sweden the question is balance method acupuncture treating right thigh pain from the right side from the buttock go to gallbladder meridian to toward to to the thigh to um, stomach meridian how long does it take to completely fix it right that's the question so he said he done about five acupuncture uh, for the patient in the pain has been reduced, um, but not completely gone yet. Uh, he's written in uh, Chinese, okay, if you can see over here. Uh, so I've just translated it into English, okay. So there's another question for him to ask me. Uh, so balance method acupuncture uh, and G acupuncture, would they work together can they can we use it in the same treatment if yes if he use GE first and then balance method acupuncture afterward would they uh, mix up together and make it worse okay that was the second question if this is your first time to watch my video or you have been following my video for a while but you haven't uh, subscribed to my youtube channel yet i want you to look up my youtube video under underneath this video and look at this right and this subscribe button please press it click it and as well as the the bell next to it. Disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. You must read and agree with this before you start this video. He had done four balance method acupuncture and the fifth time uh, he used uh, G acupuncture first and then carry on with uh, balance method acu acupuncture, right? And he mentioned that over here, in Chinese of course, <laughs> that he in the fifth treatment and G acupuncture work beautifully, wonderful, right? But when he did balance method acupuncture, here the pain came back a bit. Okay, he asked me why is that, right? So very good question. I know if you done G E acupuncture that I share online, I actually share it on uh, in Chinese. I haven't done it in English yet, and uh, the water point or uh, the water gene and turn point on both leg, both leg, and he's done that, and he said good results. All right. So why is that? So first, I want I put it. Uh, so I actually did my question over here in Chinese. So I actually suggest him to um, that since he got he tried G very good. You know he tried it all out. He has. He has tried GE and GE work very good. So he what he can do is stick with GE and put the needle in and leave the needle there for 20 or 30 minutes. Okay. Uh, so he he was saying that um he just put the needle in and take it out because GE no requirement to uh uh leave the needle there. For a while, you know, but you can do that, and I suggest him to do that. And apart from that, according to G E Yin and Yang, if you do balance method acupuncture, I suggest him to uh, 
use balance method acupuncture on the diagnose of GE what do I mean that now if a GE acupuncture if you look at that the patient lay down that legs outward that's yang leg right that's in right so GE acupuncture you're going to treat the water points Zhu San Li and Ying Ning Quan right and one is an, around here and the other one is around here okay uh, Xue Hai or Liang Qiu you can look at that uh, look at that alright so he did those four points got very good results and then why that when he back to balance method acupuncture and that result is not as good alright if he did the I don't know what he did though if he did the needle this is Yang Yang Sai right so if he did the needle on um, in meridian on yang leg and of course this is gonna make it worse because in your diagnose on GE you treat you diagnose this is yang and you treat on yang meridian and you got good results and then when, if you back to balance method acupuncture you needle the in you're gonna get backward results that's gonna get worse a bit so remember when you if you use GE to diagnose, when you do balance method acupuncture, you want to follow the diagnose that you have made on GE from GE acupuncture. All right. So what I do now for balance method acupuncture, I look at the leg, I I I tell I diagnose which one's yang, which is in, then all my balance method acupuncture system gonna follow gonna follow the diagnose from GE in and yang okay this is what I do and I got great results and if you if you can try it if you put um, needle uh, according to balance method acupuncture if you need it if the result doesn't work that well or has no result at all you use the same point but use the opposite side and you may find that the result will come out beautifully so one of the key questions was, okay, using balance method acupuncture, how many treatment, how many times can you fix the patient? Hey, this question, I don't know. Why do I say that? Because every patient is different. And he was asking me, another question is, um, why would the patient uh, get better and then get worse again? So my answer is one of them is up there, if you diagnose right but you need or, or wrong then you're gonna get bad result you know you get a you're gonna get pain come back again okay but when patient go back to home after acupuncture I always tell my patient you respect the pain to come back so when patient get instant relief you don't make them have a fault uh, hope like make them think that everything's gonna be okay and uh, you, you're gonna be completely or better right, from now on because if they feel that way and then go back to home and then the pain came back again very high expectation when you result, uh, give them uh, the result instant relief and then when they feel the pain it went down disappointed Okay, you don't want that happen okay so if you don't know the answer just tell the patient be honest to the patient say, say I don't know and that's how we're gonna work blah 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 okay so this all communication right this is how I communicate to my patient so I used to done uh, I used to uh, send the wrong message to my patient I let them know that well the results good instant relief and they're gonna feel good afterward and all, all, although I don't say anything but they feel good but they actually set a very high expect, expectation they come back and say oh no no different you know that's because we gave them a fault expectation so communication is very important I know we any kind of acupuncture uh, method you're gonna uh, give them a good result but communication is the key to hold your patient to let your patient understand to educate your patient properly right this 
all all this thing I'm gonna teach in my workshop all right so uh, so he was asking well why would the patient got better now and then got worse again so I think everyone get this question from patient and I'm, I'm sure that you have this question as well so here is my answer for you so when patient get good result in your clinic they go back you want to tell them to expect pain to come back so but when it's good when is the pain come back and does how long does it take for it to get to the the, the same in intensity before they they come to you you know you're gonna check it check it out and then you'll be able to tell patient uh, um, more accurately and how many treatment they need and or uh, how uh, what they should do you know uh, between uh, the the pain between pain and pain when they come back you know what can they do and there's a lot of uh, fact that it can cause the pain get worse so one of them is the diet the other one is emotional if the patient or the patient's not sleeping well you know you need to ask all this okay or, or what a patient feel very good and they go back home and they do a lot of things, they overuse it. They thought they, they're all good and then they're starting to do whatever they used to do and, and, and they feel good and they keep going, keep going and then overuse it. So all this thing you need to ask or they on a, you know, they get a lot, crap, a lot of uh, 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 sugar, all this thing, you know, you need to ask your patient to find out whether there's anything that they, uh, they done at home that causing the pain got worse or the pain come back quickly so all this thing I will teach you I'll give you an idea and in my workshop all right my workshop is coming up and 14 to my workshop is coming up and 13 to 15 in March 2020 in Auckland New Zealand so in this three days, if you want to sign up my workshop, then if you're on Facebook, go up there, check out the link, and YouTube, go down there and check the link, okay? And this workshop is going to happen, the same workshop that's going to happen in Malaysia, Taiwan, uh, Hong Kong, and Australia, and maybe England and America. I'm not sure about England, America, and Canada yet. We won't plan it this year, but coming next year we will plan this okay so if you want to know more information if you love my video i'm sure you will love my workshop as well so send us an email right ask us and let us know where you from and you're looking for my workshop and i want to mention to you i have local balance webinar as well and if you sign up for my workshop the local balance webinar will be free for you but if you bought my uh, webinar already and will give you a big discount when you join our workshop alright so I'll see you in my workshop see you bye bye